Good afternoon, dear viewers, investors, partners, and all participants of the Savalmash project. It is Alexander Sudorov, as always. We are at the construction site, which is located to the left of the building if you look from the main entrance. You can see that we are standing on the asphalt, on its first layer. We can see the curbstone, we can see the site, which looks much smoother than it was before. Now part of it has been dug up again. We see the soil storage. But despite this, the situation has changed quite seriously. And all this was made possible thanks to the active receipt of investment funds into Sovalmash's accounts. We have already said many times that the greater the rate of financing, the faster the works go. And today we are going to talk about the benefits and results of the thank you promotion which was organized by Sol Group, and as a result of which the rate of attracting those fair investments was increased. As I mentioned earlier, we are standing on asphalt that was laid in a fairly short period of time. This was preceded by leveling the ground, going to zero, spreading geotextiles, backfitting, backfitting with crushed stone. It was not easy to do this on such a large area, as it required a number of other preparatory works, dismantling the slabs of the temporary road and much more. We can also see that the green area is already being prepared for restoration of vertical leveling. We can see that the ground has already been leveled, and now it has been covered with a little bit of soil again, because this trench was made for the laying of utilities, such as low current networks, lighting, telemetry, and so on. We can also see that there is no temporary fence. There are posts that have not been completed yet, although there are already some at the beginning of the site. They are the base where the permanent fence will be fixed, which hopefully will stand for many years. We can also see the works on the cold water supply to the building. If we go further, let's do it. From this angle we can see the steps, which have already been cast. By the way, you can see how much the level will be raised, that is, how many more layers of asphalt are to be laid. And coming closer, we can once again observe the work on water supply. After all, there are safety rules, and they should be observed. Now, let's move on. And here we have a great view. Training ground. I can't call this place otherwise. This is a ready and tested platform. A tested site. It is tested by the fact that trucks are constantly coming here. Pre-various materials and all works are being carried out fully. A curved stone has already been installed. Also vertical planning is partially performed, the ground is leveled. In the near future we are waiting for more trucks with soil and crushed stone. Somewhere the installation of asphalt will continue. Somewhere the installation of the fertile layer for further seeding of the lawn will continue. The site has been very much transformed. Moving closer to the right side of the road, we see a warehouse of crushed stone, which will be used for this road in the future. And it will be possible to start laying asphalt. We can also see an abundance of construction equipment, which will soon be ready to start certain works. Here you can also see our site or platform for the installation of climate control equipment, which is already there. Not so long ago, transformers were here. They have been brought into the building, and this is probably due to the excavation work that has now been carried out. 
Here we can no longer see a big difference in height. There is sand. If we go further, we'll see the heating main, where backfilling is being carried out, and soon it will be completely hidden under a layer of soil. And here they will lay asphalt everywhere. But before we lay asphalt, we'll need to do one more type of work. We'll need to lay one more communication, one of the last engineering networks, namely cold water supply, which will be on the right side of the building. We'll have two of these mains. Here we come to the heating mains. Here, as you remember from previous videos, there was a big cliff, kind of a cliff, and now it is almost invisible, invisible from the soil and sand, and we need backfill for that. And note how much the overall level of the site has risen. So we're going up gradually. We have now come to one of the largest pits on our site. This is a large trench, made in order to puncture and install the connection of the storm sewer to the central system. Here we see the well of the storm sewerage system. There is already a special prepared place, where special equipment, the so-called syringe, will be installed. It will pierce the soil under the carriageway, go to the other side of the road, and there the connection will be made. Preparatory work has already been carried out both on our territory, inside the site and outside it. Part of the road has been blocked off with concrete blocks, and a trench has also been dug, where special works are being carried out. Despite the fact that the stage of work is already final, you should understand that we have a rather compact site by the standards of production areas. And there are a number of peculiarities when carrying out work on this very site. The thing is that our site, as you have seen in our previous videos, has been dug up, dug over, and there are some communications everywhere. The degree of laying of communications is at different levels. So you have to do the work one by one. That is, we dug a trench, lay the communications, buried them. Then, if we have other communications nearby, we dig a trench again, do the work again and bury it again. It is not possible to dig these trenches next to each other, because the ground can collapse, shift and rain also plays its role, there may be cave-ins, there may be some slides. There are a lot of preparatory works, so the complexity of excavation work is quite high. At the same time, there are also communications that have already been laid here. These are the communications of the Special Economic Zone. We need to identify their location and not to damage them during the works. Most of this work has already been done, but some of it is still to be done, namely its ground puncture and cold water supply. And this place will be ready for asphalt installation. This event is just around the corner. A very important task an extremely important task is to bring heat to the building and enter the winter with our own heating. The funds that came from the thank you promotion have helped us a lot to move forward. Today we are talking about the final stage of the work. Not so long ago we were saying that it was urgent and necessary to start those works and now we are completing them already. I think this is a very good result. But in addition to the work outside, we are actively working inside the building as well, including documents, development documents. So let's see what is going on inside. 
And what is going on inside the building? It would seem that we should immediately start talking about engineering networks. But no, the work is not only being done there. The finishing of the administrative building is still underway. A simple situation. The facility will soon have to be handed over to the State Commission. So it is necessary to get the document on completion of the construction facility. All these works need to be completed. At the same time, we need to move out of the leased premises and create workplaces for administrative staff. Therefore, all these processes are happening in parallel. Installation of electrics, installation of ventilation communications, finishing of walls, installation of internet communications, telemetry, low current, networks, telephony. All this is necessary in order to receive the document on completion of the construction facility and on the basis of it, it will be possible to receive a postal address, a police address, and this will allow us to carry out all other legal activities. Let's go and see what else is going on. In the administrative building, ceilings were painted in accordance with the project documentation, somewhere in grey, somewhere in black, in our exhibition area. Ventilation communications have been installed, painting of links has been started, so we are moving towards the finishing, and in my opinion it already looks quite beautiful. The final preparations for the installation of glass interior partitions are also being made. It remains to prepare this frame, the so-called frame, and of course the installation of tiles on which the partitions will stand. Entering our main workshop, the most open, the largest one, we see again an abundance of ventilation communications, ventilation systems, pipes, main lines. We can see that the interior decoration has been transformed to the point of impossibility. Under the ceiling we have already installed fire extinguishing system, sprinkler system. At the moment we are installing hot water supply system, cold water supply system. Trays have been installed. They were previously installed, but they have become more numerous in the process. Electrical networks have been pulled through. Installation of rather large pipes has been carried out. Now at the moment we see a pekaniska in the distance of the workshop and guys under the ceiling are now engaged in these installation works. That is, there is a lot of work here. Active work is being carried out in the individual heat point. Cameraman will show it to you now. Strapping, welding, special sensors are being installed, brackets are being installed, the mains themselves are being installed, wires are being welded, the wiring for the whole building is being prepared. Acceptance of new materials, new engineering products is also performed. Pumps, water treatment plant will also be assembled now. Most of it has already been brought to the territory of the Design and Technological Bureau. Yesterday guys were drilling holes actively for laying heating systems on the second floor of the production complex. That is, there is still a lot of work to be done and we have to do it. We must do it, and in order to do it, we need to get investment funds. So, is the result good? In my opinion, it is very good. More than good. Do we need to keep moving in this direction? Of course. And this is not only my opinion. Among the comments, among the requests to Solar Group Technical Support Team, in the comments under the videos of the channel Sovelmash, Doing of Modus and our social networks, we see that many people liked this promotion, they liked the conditions that we offered. And today the management of Solar Group has decided to extend this promotion until September the 15th. I am expressing a huge thank you to all those who took part in the promotion, to those who, in addition to the promotion, invested. 
paid current installments, made new decisions and purchased new packages. It has indeed helped us a lot. In conclusion, I would like to say that the opportunity that is now being created until the 15th of September inclusive is a good chance and a good help for all of us in approaching the completion of our facility and bringing our products to the market. My products, I mean a size 100 general industrial motor on which we are now actively working and of course an angle grinder with a 230 mm wheel. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your participation. Thank you for your support and trust. Stay with us and see you soon.